Edgar Cole, 52nd Defense Battalion, United States Marine Corps, was living in San Francisco when his draft notice arrived. Cole reported to the draft board, unclear which branch of service he was being assigned to. His name was the last to be called. And I'm standing all alone. Finally looked up and said, you're in the Marine Corps. And he slapped this big brown envelope in my chest. What do I do now, you know? It didn't mean anything to me. I'd never heard of the Marines. So he yelled again, you're in the Marine Corps. What am I supposed to do with that, you know? Well, so he half got up and kind of pushed me back. And uh, I, I guess he's done with me. Cole was to report for training at Camp Montford Point in North Carolina in August of 1942. He traveled by train from San Francisco to Chicago to Washington, D.C., and then to North Carolina. The voyage, particularly the last leg through the South, was difficult. They only had one coach for Negroes. By the time I got to the train, it, it had started to move. I panicked, and I went, and I looked, and I saw this SP, and I said, I've been drafted uh, by the Marines, and the train's moving, but he won't let me on. He said, boy, you're a damn liar. There are none of you people in the Marines. I, 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 he hit my orders, and he slaps it out of my hand. Oh, my God, the train moving. Finally, he opened it. He said, well, I'll be down. They are letting you people in the Marines. Well, I'll be down. Cole was among the first African-American Marine Corps recruits. By the fall of 1942, the 51st and 52nd Composite Defense Battalions had 600 African-American Marines among their ranks. <laughs>